Hi, so I just want to introduce you to some of the most common geographic information systems and mapping applications. Uh, some for free, some for purchase, and some which are online which can be free or for a uh, charge. So, you'll see in italics are the programs or applications that we'll primarily be working with. And whenever I say platforms, what I'm referring to is anything that has to do with geographic information as far as it, it could be a software program it could be an online map service it could be just a simple application that you use on your smartphone so this is what I mean by uh, when I when I refer to geographic information platforms so over in the free category here uh, we're looking at Google Earth and ArcGIS Explorer which really are just visualization tools Yes, you can make maps with these tools, but you can't really do much analysis. Uh, you can do some analysis, but it's very minimal, and really, as I said, it's just to visualize places on a map. Uh, there's some other free GIS software out there, Quantum, Geoda, Grass, so you're free to go and look these up if you'd like. Um, for purchase, uh, similar to Google Earth, there's Google Earth Pro. Um, it just has some features, um, some more advanced features where you can do a little bit more analysis and do um, nicer map layouts um, that you can't do in just the, the free version of Google Earth. Um, so ArcGIS, that's the big one. That's, that's the full-blown industry standard uh, geographic information system. Um, if you get into mapping and you want to use it in your career someday, ArcGIS is the industry standard one that you're going to want to put on your resume. So. Uh, just something to sort of think about here. It's also probably the most cumbersome one and, and difficult to use because it has so many features associated with it. And when you talk about ArcGIS, you're really talking about sort of a suite of other uh, programs within it. So primarily what I'm talking about is ArcMap, which is the um, kind of like a mapping program, I guess you could say, and then Arc Catalog, which is like a database system, kind of similar to Microsoft Access, if you know what that is. Um, so together, the, these guys work together um, to allow you to do most anything you can possibly think of with uh, geographic data, really, and also allows you to really integrate just about any kind of geographic data or, or convert it. Um, so some other popular ones, probably the uh, second most popular GIS after ArcGIS is MapInfo. Um, Cartographica is the only full-blown um, GIS that's dedicated for the Mac operating system. Um, so this this is really important for Mac users because although you can use ArcGIS on Mac, you have to run it. It still has to run in Windows, so you have to run a parallel, and, and it gets confusing. And so um, unfortunately, um, ArcGIS just kind of has a monopoly, and um, and it's unfortunate for the Mac. Mac users. Um, and so then moving online, we have Google Maps, which most everyone's familiar with. Um, very simple routing service and just a way to look things up and get street views. Um, really quick and dirty way just to explore um, the data that's, that's already existing there. Um, then ArcGIS Online. Um, so what's important to know about ArcGIS Online is that most most mapping is moving towards a cloud environment. So what ArcGIS Online is, and what it hopes to be someday, is the full-blown ArcGIS, but online. And with, with the same amount of capability that ArcGIS desktop has, but in an online format. So you don't have to lug around this big, heavy program on your desktop or your laptop. And Mac users can use it as well because it would exist online. And so it's operating system interdependent, if you will. And then there's a, there's literally hundreds of other online map services. So a real popular one, uh, Social Explorer. This is great for looking at different types of uh, demographic and administrative data. Uh, the UDS Mapper and Healthy Cities are really good for looking at different types of public health data and and also these online map services what's great about them is they don't just look at data but they also are able to create maps which is also really good so there's built-in tools into these and they're really kind of full blown out GIS um, GIS's but they're specialized for for certain things